Hello, welcome to Gecko Press Picture Books for Spring Summer 2024. Uh, for anyone who doesn't uh, yet know Gecko Press, we publish curiously good children's books in translation. We choose from the best writers and illustrators in the world, and we look for books that are already successful in their own languages, so we know that children love them. Uh, we look for books with really good story and with a warm heart, and um, and often that often slightly different offer slightly different ways of seeing the world. So. I'm going to share my screen and show you four picture books for spring, summer 2024. I have um, four books that will take you through the season from a golden beach day to summer picnics and woodland rambles. This season's books seem to be characterized by that particular childhood experience of roaming with friends and messing about outdoors. So we start at the beach with Good Night, Good Beach by Joy Cowley and Hilary Jean Tapper. This is an essence of summer picture book and a good night read aloud. This bedtime picture book transports the reader to her childhood summer with a simple resonant text that asks to be read over and over. Cowley takes us to the end of a long day, skin sticky with salt, sandy feet, waves hush hushing and a shell under the pillow. Hilary Jean Tapper's warm watercolour and ink illustrations add this beautiful inclusive cast of extended family, friends and children of different ages. The cadence of the final words echoes the shushing waves in a gentle signal of time for readers to sleep. Good day, good sea, good sand, good night. This book captures the out of time feeling of summer at the beach, salt and sea, treasures under the pillow and off to sleep in 50 perfectly chosen words. A Better Best Friend by Olivier Taek takes us through the seasons, starting and ending in the summery woodland. This is a feel-good picture book about best friendship. It's people by these two very funny and expressive creatures, Squirrel and Mushroom. It draws a lot of emotion and drama from a simple question of how many best friends can you have? So Squirrel has wanted a best friend for a long time, thinks he's finally found one in this mushroom. He really has a best friend kind of face. They have a lovely time in the forest through the seasons doing all the things you do with your one best friend. Then spring arrives and so does a new friend, raising a deep question for the squirrel. Can we have more than one best friend? There's so much character in this silently expressive mushroom and in the overthinking, dramatising squirrel. After all the drama, Squirrel still doesn't find an answer because the friends keep coming. Here comes Gunter. Here comes Moo. And so we end the book as four better best friends. A better best friend is comedic and playful, explores a question encountered by every child. Um, the author says, I like having several ends or several possibilities. Readers have a right to their own stories. And that for me is a very Gecko Press sentiment. Next up, Cake for Everyone, a wordless look and find story and puzzle with the theme of helping those who have less than we do. Uh, Techong King, the author illustrator, is a recognised master of children's, children's books. He has a unique ability to narrate complex plot through images alone. Cake for Everyone has multiple stories within stories. It begins with the eagle stealing the picnic blanket. And so the first puzzle is a memory game. Can you remember all the items that were on the blanket? And the reader follows characters and stories on every spread with dangers and problems to solve along the way. We discover the cake has been eaten by this miserably hungry rat family up in the top corner of that illustration. But the book is called Cake for Everyone and so there is, because the baker has been busy while the others were out hunting for the picnic. This book is for preschoolers who enjoy puzzling out a story, going back and forth to look carefully for all the clues. Also, wordless books are increasingly recognised for the way they allow readers to tell their own stories, um, and they are accessible for non-fluent readers and for learners from other languages, so it has that very wide appeal. Finally, Around the World with Friends by Philip Wechter. This is a picture book with plot, characters with personality, and exquisitely detailed illustrations. Five friends decide to take a trip around the world, or perhaps just down the river for a picnic. Inspired by his exciting book, Raccoon sets off seeking thrills and adventure and ocean crossings. He collects up his friends to join him one by one. They go off in the boat, they find all the drama they're looking for. 
They finish with a game of football. They cook eggs over the fire. The story has all the emotional ups and downs of a big day, anticipation, excitement, companionship, and then the slight disappointment when it starts to rain and their thoughts now turn to home. Bear misses her teddy suddenly. They all remember there was no one home to feed the chickens. But now they're nearly home, they realise it was the best trip around the world they've ever had. They'll do it again soon, maybe on Thursday. This is a feel-good picture book to read aloud with preschoolers and classrooms and families to enjoy the sharing, sharing the refrains and to spark ideas for your own small adventures. Like the day, the book packs a lot in. There's outdoor play, there's the emotional ups and downs of a good expedition, there's fun repetition in the language with some very lovely refrains that, that come again and again, and there's a lot of charm in these beautiful illustrations. So that's our summer. Thank you from Gecko Press, wishing you a summer of messing about outdoors with friends.